Uh, Bill says, how do you get 80% open rate again? I'm using what you and James said last week. So any suggestions? Yeah, I mean, the open rate, okay, so first of all, I'm really scrubbing my list really good. James, I know you don't, I don't as much. No. As many of you in Next Level that have gotten my emails know, <laughs> I don't scrub it very good. I do, um, because I really want to know how effective is my message. And I, and I did some soul searching on this a little bit. I'm like, my numbers for responses are not where they should be. Why? And I thought, okay. I want to get my response rate as high as possible, so in order to do that, I need to make sure that I am actually blasting my messaging out to the right person. So I really scrub those lists as well as I can, um, not just because I'm afraid somebody's going to get the message and call me out on it and feel awkward and embarrassed. I don't care so much about that. I want to be able to measure what I'm saying. Is it effective to the population I'm trying to reach? So I go through all these different filtering systems, scrub up my list really good, make sure that they actually appear to be really good prospects. So that's first and foremost for me. The second one, you know, I don't know. I just trial and error with different subject lines. But what I do is if I find something that works, right now I'm using the first name, comma, I thought you could use some help. And, I mean, I am at... Uh, right now, um, I'm only three of my four emails in. I have 80.4 um, um, open rate. Now, the week before that, I only had 77.3. Um, you it know, averages, and then the week uh, before that, I had 87 percent. You know, it just it's kind of all over the board. But really, making sure you're sending out to um, you know the right people, checking the spamminess of your email, and then playing with that subject line to see what you can do.